I don't know how the Mario and Sonic Olympic series is still alive. Well, actually, I do know. It's Mario and Sonic in a game together, which can be milked longer than time itself. The comfort of knowing these games are going to sell regardless is probably what made Nintendo and Sega so lazy about them in the first place. These two need to be in a different kind of game together. Everyone's thought about it. I have, you have, but we haven't seen anything of the sort yet. Before anyone calls me an Olympic Games hater, is that even a thing? I love the Olympic series' first couple games. Heck, I love seeing my heroes, basically, cross over for the first time so much that I got a wall scroll of them running side by side. If it wasn't obvious already, wall scrolls are how I cement my love for a series. The first time, everything was new. Heck yeah, I'll watch Sonic slow down to give everyone a chance in the 100 meter race. Why not? Waluigi doing trampoline tricks? Sign me up. The sheer concept of these two franchises crossing over was worth the buy alone. It even had dream events, which added a fictional spice to what we're used to, and although there weren't many in the first game, they added a bunch more in the sequel, The Winter Games, which had a whole slew of events, including ice skating. You could could make Eggman ice skate. That's hilarious! There was also a story mode, which wasn't anything too special, but it was nice to see. While these titles aren't on top of my list for the kinds of games I'd like to see Mario and Sonic cross over in, I do think they have a pretty good reason for existing. I can't say the same for everything that came after, though. I know more characters were introduced, and I know the most recent release, Tokyo 2020, has neat 2D events going on, but I don't think any of that is nearly enough to warrant four sequels. There's only so many times one can play through Olympic events involving these characters until they start thinking, okay, what else? And that is the question, isn't it? What other kinds of games could Mario and Sonic star together in? Whenever I hear people talk about this, it's always platformers, running and jumping, Sonic could have his levels, Mario could have his levels, maybe they mix and match each other's levels, maybe there's a Sonic Heroes kind of deal where Sonic speeds Mario up and Mario has his own abilities in the level, who knows? I get the sentiment, not trying to downplay the ideas, I'd play the heck out of a Mario and Sonic platformer, but let's explore other genres. How about a fighting game? Just a good old boxed in fighting game with a cast of Mario and Sonic characters that have their own unique moves and abilities. Mario could uh, f switch between power ups mid battle with their own strengths and weaknesses. Metal stronger but slower, fire might have better range attacks but mediocre melee attacks. Sonic could be really fast and precise but with low power. Include the Bounce Bracelet, Flame Ring, Light Dash, Blue Tornado from Sonic Heroes, Spin Dash, Homing Attack, and just about anything in Sonic Battle. That game had it right with movesets. Luigi could have the Poltergust, whatever freaking thousand, shenanigans, and finally use his lightning from Superstar Saga that hasn't been used in years. He'd use power-ups like Mario, but they'd be an entirely different set of power-ups to cover everything the franchise has to offer. Shadow could teleport around and use all his chaos attacks, along with what he can do in Sonic Battle. You know, in fact, just assume every Sonic character in a game like this can do whatever they can do in battle. That game it just got so much moveset stuff right. I'm not even the biggest fan of the gameplay itself, but I can admit that. How about a racing game? Let players choose between carts and bikes from the Mario Kart series along with Extreme Gear from the Sonic Rider series. A series that's been left behind but has amazing potential. I feel like this would be a cool way to get it kicking again. There'd probably have to be some tinkering with how the Extreme Gear would work though, since in Riders, your vehicle runs off of air, and when you run out, you need to refuel before you board it again. Maybe air wouldn't be a thing in this game, and Extreme Gear would just be another option for players to choose from. Zoom Zyke, that's cool and all, but carts and bikes in Mario Kart have mechanical differences from one another to stand out. What would Extreme Gear have? I'd say the ability to do multiple quick tricks in air that would grant a boost upon landing greater than that of carts and bikes, which would stay limited to only one trick. Otherwise, I'd make them similar to bikes, but maybe with the change in how drifting is done? Can't say for sure. A spring item would be cool though. I'm talking about the ones that send you backwards. Imagine placing one of those on the track and watching someone slam into it getting thrown back a few feet. That'd be hilarious. Or how about a flame shield item, where it functioned like a shield, you know, like it gets hit once and then it goes away. 
but when you have it, you can boost forward a few times. It's weird, because Mario and Sonic both have a fair share of racing games. I feel like if any genre between these two should have been tackled by now, then it'd be this one. It seems like it'd be pretty easy. An RPG, maybe? The base battle system could be how the Mario and Luigi series handles it, where you can counterattack enemies if your timing is good enough. There'd be Mario, Luigi, Sonic, and Shadow on the same team, but no more than that. This may sound similar to Super Mario Bros. Z, and that's definitely the inspiration. Each character can have their own special moves, but they can only do certain team special moves with other characters. For example, maybe Luigi and Shadow have the Poltergust Pulverizer attack, where Shadow throws tons of Chaos Spears into Luigi's vacuum, which get stored and blasted towards the enemy. Mario and Sonic could have the Spin Dash shot, where Mario hits Sonic up into the air with his hammer again and again, until Sonic's high enough for Mario to charge up a strong hammer swing and slam it into Sonic, launching him at high speeds towards the enemy. Screw the duo combinations, you can get the whole team in on this. How about a Flame Tornado, where Sonic and Shadow each run incredibly fast around the enemy, enough to kick up a tornado, while Mario and Luigi mix in the red and green fireballs for added damage. Seriously, coming up with ideas for special moves like this is fun and easy. Story-wise, I think it'd be cool to take a similar approach to how the Sonic and Mega Man crossover comics handled it, where each character fought the other at the beginning because they thought they were enemies, just to realize the bigger threat and team up. When it comes to big bads, I think it's easy to say Bowser and Eggman would team up, but something about that doesn't feel right to me. I don't know. Maybe have their relationship be a bit more complicated than that. Eggman could make a deal with Bowser saying he'd give him great machinery in exchange for help in finding the Chaos Emeralds, but he wouldn't specify just how powerful these emeralds are. This would lead up to Bowser finding out on his own about their greatness and wanting to keep them for himself, but he wouldn't reveal this knowledge towards Eggman. You see how there could be a cool push and pull between the villains here? They'd still be your enemies, but I think the idea of having them on the same side, but with differing goals, could be pretty interesting. Seriously, just put Mario and Sonic in literally any other kind of game together and I'd buy it so long as it's good. Olympic games have been overdone to death and it's a shame watching such awesome crossover opportunities go down the drain just because they found a formula that sells. The ideas I gave here for Mario and Sonic games were ones I basically thought of off the top of my head, so don't engrave everything I said into stone. It's a topic that could be talked about and fleshed out for hours on end, and I might actually do that at some point in the future. Who knows? Oh, and hey, we're officially halfway through the June Zoom. That's pretty sick. Hope you're enjoying it so far, and I hope you enjoy the rest. See you tomorrow, and take care.